Hey guys, this is Rehan Shah Jahan and today we will be discussing few things related to our project and uh, I'll try to give you an overview that what actually things are going on and how to look upon things at the back end and you know how things are you know will proceed in future and how the steps and phases will go on. So for the first like the initial and the first thing which I want you to explain you guys is that the things which I have sent you probably the smart let's talk about the smart contract first it's the only back end with full functionalities there's no business logic going on yeah there are a few restrictions which we need to implement like for the payments and through the wallet integration that is being implemented and plus like few restrictions like for example no one can buy that property until it's not on sale right and if like I, I sent you the smart contract for the sake you guys to look up, uh, at the properties that are the properties good enough or do you want me to add or subtract something so I sent you that uh, and obviously the smart contract function if the smart contract fun functionalities are working probably that will be connected to our front end and it will work same as it's working uh, on the smart contract so right now if we talk about the logic and the sequence or anything like that probably it's not happening right now because we haven't implemented or integrated the front end and the logics also uh, and why we do that why we are separating all the modules right now is because well while we're developing a project or a dap app of you know on blockchain so while developing and doing uh, coding on blockchain there requires a lot of testing a lot a lot of things can go wrong a lot of things can go good so what happens is that if a lot of things goes goes wrong and you have integrated everything on a system like with the system so it can affect the other aspects as well but yeah uh, what we do is that we create like the front end is being created separately right now the web 3 portion is being created separately if i talk about the smart contract it, these are like those are uh, you know uh, being developed separately the web 3 integration the wallet integration are being created separately but yeah in the end when you know all the things are going properly properly we we are on the same page and i just want you guys to be on the same page like what actually is happening because i i, I felt that you guys are Going, uh, you guys are going through the smart contract the way uh, you know uh, with your own thinking and you know with uh, you, you guys just had some initial uh, you know um, I was expectation that this should work like this or that but obviously it's not like that I just sent you the smart contract even previously in our last conversation what we have when I sent you the smart contract or to, you, uh, to your team um, I told you that right now it won't be working uh, like as a whole uh, scenario because uh, for that you need to create a like an environment on your laptop like right now I'm using the local node I'm using the test net just because so we can save money like so you can all save money uh, so you can you know if you talk about the project so even the blockchain portion uh, on like every execution there are thousands of transactions going on and if you um if you are to pay the gas fees it will consume original money right but yeah i have connected testnet until and unless it's finalized it's final um when things are final and things are you know proper properly going on then we will move our uh, whole blockchain thing from the testnet to the mainnet so this is for it okay why like why things are being done like that is like let me give you an example L like if we go to a factory or for, uh, you know car f uh, for car manufacturing factory over there you can see that the engine is being manufactured separately the body parts the doors are being you know um, manufactured separately the indoor the dashboard is being manufactured separately but yeah to make uh, the car functional and to make uh, you to um, make the car going you need to you know assemble all the things together so if I talk about one module like let's talk about engine like while you're developing or manufacturing an engine you can you cannot give logics to that engine right for example obviously that will include the input of the user like for example if I need to start a car I need to press that uh, you know start button otherwise it won't start right and if I want to accelerate the car so I need to press the accelerate uh, accelerator pedal otherwise it won't accelerate and it will be you know it won't move so for that thing that is why we um, let's talk about the modules of blockchain i just sent you functionalities obviously it includes every uh, functionality that is being uh, that is going to be used uh, in every step like if it's step one if it's step two step three step four, four. like for example let's let's talk about uh, purchasing a property on our platform 
number one is that um, the property uh, the user needs to get registered the property needs to get registered on the blockchain the buyer needs to get registered uh, on the blockchain plus after that you know when the buyer and the seller meet the uh, requirements then they can you know um, I would say get uh, then they, the buyer can buy the property and then the procedure of the payments happen so these are the steps but obviously like uh, for the back end we need to create the functions on the same page on the same smart contract which eventually you will use uh, with business logics or you know whatever logic you want to implement after that okay these, these were the things which I need you guys to uh, know after that I like I had a conversation previously last night and um, one of your team members said that um, they will provide me a uh, word document like the documentation that how things will happen what will be the history what will be uh, you know other aspects so I need you guys to provide me that so if I'm missing something I'll add if I'm going something like if I'm over adding something I'll remove so these are the aspects and plus yeah you cannot you cannot obviously you cannot use the whole project right now at a very initial step when things are being implemented separately until unless they are not integrated onto one project or to one you know simple um, i would say dab app so before that you cannot use it but yeah after that when you know when things will proceed obviously we will integrate the wallets right now the wallet is not integrated obviously uh, the wallet like let's talk about metamask they provide us uh, authenticity either it's the owner they give you uh, like you can uh, if you will provide the signature if it's the owner who's trying to sell that property and the and if it's the buyer who wants to buy that property um, otherwise uh, that provides restrictions and security otherwise it won't happen so there is an extra layer of security from the blockchain side and from the wallet side so this is it from the basics so let me talk let me tell you about how things are proceeding right now at the very initial phase we are developing modules or oh, blockchain module is being like 100% or 90% completed either or else if you uh, want me to add some properties or to remove some properties the next step is that uh, uh, side by side the front end part is being developed the front end part is being you know uh, 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 is on the final stages and after that like when i'll get the approval from your side that the smart contract properties and plus yeah i need the authentication of that what property or what are would be the attributes of the property and the user when i'll get that after that i'll start working on the integration of um, web 3 with web 2 like after that but yeah uh, there are a few things which we need to discuss and i want to can you guys to confirm number one is that tell me the attributes of the of each aspect or what will be the attributes of user what uh, do you guys want me to add what do you guys want me to subtract from the properties but yeah when it's done even uh, if we talk about the previous videos which i sent you i showed you the procedure how things will work separately on the smart contract now i gave you the demo of the content so yeah this is it from my side so if you guys have any questions or any uh, anything related to stuff and if you guys have any confusion you can ask me so yeah take care and bye